Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and in today's video, we are going to take a look at an unofficial remix of Ubuntu, which is called Unity Ubuntu. Now, it is basically the latest version of Ubuntu with Unity desktop environment. Unity was the primary desktop of Ubuntu for six years till 2017, when Mark Shuttleworth, the head of Canonical, made this shocking announcement of dropping Unity desktop. Now, this sudden and completely unexpected announcement made many Ubuntu users unhappy, but Ubuntu moved on and from 17.10 onwards, GNOME became the default desktop environment of Ubuntu. But there's still some developers and Unity fans that are keeping the desktop alive. And one such team has recently released an Ubuntu Remix distro called Ubuntu Unity Remix. Now, currently the latest is version 4. It is still a very early project, but this current release is stated to be ready for use in production machines. So let's take a look at this brand new project and also talk about Unity Desktop in general, its current state and the future. All right, now Ubuntu is a hugely popular Linux distro. And since its first release back in 2004, it has built its reputation as one of the most stable, user-friendly and powerful Linux OS. Now Ubuntu started off with GNOME as its default desktop, but in 2010, when GNOME was upgraded to GNOME 3, with drastic new changes, Ubuntu decided to develop their own desktop environment called Unity and it was introduced in the April 2011 release of Ubuntu. It was based on GNOME shell but includes many new features like dash search, launcher, etc. But it turned out to be one of the most polarized desktop among all Linux desktop environment till date. Some people absolutely loved it while others hated it. But still, I think it gave Ubuntu a different identity. Now, dropping of Unity by Canonical was the biggest shocker of 2017. Because prior to this, Canonical was working on next iteration of Unity called Unity 8, which was slated to be a futuristic desktop that was going to bring convergence with one single UI for desktop, tablet and mobile OS. There was also a development release of Unity 8, which was made available for testing in Ubuntu 16.4. And everybody was expecting it to be out in upcoming version of Ubuntu. But unfortunately, the project got delayed year after year. And ultimately, it was discontinued altogether. Now, after Canonical left Unity, the team at UB Ports took charge of the project and continued development. But their primary focus has been on the mobile and tablet side of the operating system. And due to that, Unity 8 for desktop never made any real usable release till date. Now recently, Unity 8 was in news when UB Ports announced that they are changing the project name from Unity 8 to Lomiri. But still, the desktop version of Lomiri is not coming anytime soon. According to the project lead at UB Ports, it could take a year time to get anything close to installation. Usability is currently out of question and this time frame is also very optimistic. And also there's no commitment of any sort. So it's safe to assume that Unity 8 or Lomiri for desktop is a far distant dream. But if you do not want to wait till the release of Unity 8, you can enjoy the awesomeness of Unity 7.5, the last official release by installing this new Remix distro. Now the project is at very early stage right now. The Twitter account was made this very month and the new name Ubuntu Unity and the logo of the project was just introduced in the latest release, which is version four. The previous version was called Un Ubuntu. All right, so let's get to the distro. Now the development is happening at a very rapid pace and the new updated versions are released in quick succession. The latest is version four and that's what we are going to check out today. The size of installation image is 3.3 gigs, which is significantly higher than 2.7 gigs of standard Ubuntu. Now the installation process is exactly the same as Ubuntu 20.4, so there's no difference at all. But after the installation, once you get to the login screen, you have the light DM login screen instead of GDM, which gives you this beautiful and famous Unity lock screen. Now after login, you get to the GNOME welcome app, which allows you to set a few desktop options. So this is the default desktop, which is Unity 7.5. The wallpaper has been modified for this new Remix distro, and it looks pretty good. This is the same Unity desktop that we had in Ubuntu 17.4 and it's pretty familiar to anybody who has used Ubuntu in the past decade. 
Now the default desktop has a sort of a remix theme with Ubuntu GNOME as the window theme. But if you want the traditional Unity theme, you can go to settings and under theme, you can choose ambience. Now this gives you the familiar Unity theme that we all are so used to. There's the trademark left dock with favorite apps and dash search at the top. Now the dash search is a pretty awesome search tool used to quickly search the computer for just about anything, files, applications, settings, etc. Now it's not only quick and efficient, but I think in terms of design also, the translucent background with clear and crisp text, it's very modern looking and I love it. And I'm also happy that the HIDPS scaling is implemented perfectly in this Remix distro. It has this slider to fine tune the scaling, just like dip in Linux, which I think is the best implementation. Now this makes the display extremely crisp if you have a high resolution screen, you will really appreciate this. Now the settings to move window menu from top bar to the title bar of a window is also under appearance and inside behavior. So you can change it as per your preference. Now, since it's a remix distro, there are more than one app available for certain things. Like there are two settings app, two software apps, two files app. Now this is because one is the GNOME version and the other is a Unity version of the app. But you can get rid of the duplicate app if you want to and keep the one you prefer. Now the other great thing about this remix is that Unity Tweak tool comes pre-installed. Now this is a tool that lets you customize and tweak different desktop settings. And it's a pretty advanced tool. It allows you deep customization of the desktop elements like dock, desktop theme, colors, icons, etc. Now, now there are tons of options and if you want to do any customization, I recommend you go to this tool. Now as far as softwares are concerned, all standard softwares comes pre-installed to get you going right after the installation. All right, now let's talk about the performance. Now the desktop operation is very smooth. The animation works really well. There's no error or desktop lag when you work on the desktop. It feels very stable. Also on idle, the RAM usage that I was getting was around 1.4 gigs with CPU usage under 5%, which is the same as the standard Ubuntu with GNOME desktop. So there's no overhead due to Unity desktop in terms of performance, which is really great. All right, so that was all for today. Now, if you're interested, you can download the Remix distro by going to this page. I'll put the link in the description as well. Now, I really appreciate the work of Ubuntu Unity team for coming up with this great Remix distro and keeping Unity alive. I'm also hoping that this project becomes an official flavor one day. Now, if you're a fan of Unity, I highly recommend you try this distro. I think you're going to love it. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in, in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you guys for supporting me. All right, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.